Hi everybody, I hope you're all okay. I'm sat here today in a 5S 125 Efficient Spec Tractor and I've just got a few minutes on my hands and I thought I'd show you something to do with GPS. Now, I'm not going to do an in depth video into GPS and all the finer points of how it works and offsets and everything else that goes with it because that would be an extremely long video and possibly quite boring but what I thought I would do is show you just how simple it is to jump on a tractor and set a basic AB guidance line using Massey Ferguson's go mode as they call it just really simple to do and something everybody ought to be able to do fairly easily. So here we are, I'm sat here just in a field entrance with a track in front of me. Here's the screen just um, on the sort of home screen as you uh, would find it if you've just started the tractor. As a lot of you will know there's a, there's a carousel here different settings that you can have and if I flick it that way here's your GPS screen we're showing here TSL that means Terrastar L that that basically is the standard GPS signal that you get from us with a paid upgrade to give you somewhere sort of 10 centimeters to 15 centimeters accuracy with a reasonable level of um, repeatability this would be okay for for drilling normal corn crops that sort of thing um, during the course of the day your satellites would drift slightly and you would have to recenter it occasionally just to keep yourself on the straight and narrow so to speak but anyway this is the this is the sort of basic version so to start off with, we need to uh, turn on our steering valve. That now on this tractor with this joystick, it's just here, you press it, it goes green, and that turns the steering valve on. It used to be over here. We've done away that, with that now. This one here, you turn that on if you want speed steer. But I say to just normal GPS, you, you turn that one on there and it goes green. Then we come to the green and you press go mode. Then you come in here, uh, four meters working width. You can change that if you want to. So let's say we're coming in and we're gonna have a three meter working width. Press three, press okay. Let's change that. Likewise, if you want to offset, have, a, have an offset mower, you can choose which side of the tractor it may be. Um, there but anyway we're keeping it simple this one here is it means that we're going to record a, um, a painted line when we're moving forwards I've set here so that when you are painting the tractor knows when to stop painting and start painting I've set that to start painting when we put the linkage down critical thing on this page is you come to the top here where it says start and press that that'll go green that now the tractor knows that when it puts the linkage down it's going to start painting we'll press ok on that screen we'll come to this one on in go mode you just get three choices of way line the one that's green there that's a normal a b line you go into your field and you choose your direction of travel you point to point a and then a point b the middle one is a heading so everyone's got a field that they drive into and there's an old oak tree perhaps at the far end of the field and you, you, you start at the, the gate and you head towards that oak tree and that's usually your straight line. So if you want to do that, you can just press that one there, put your tractor where you want to start, press that and it'll sort all your lines out for you in line with that tree. And then the third option is a is a wavy line if you want to follow a wavy line down a field rather than a straight line but for this exercise we're going to put a, an AB line in so press that and press OK then you'll see there on the screen 
is come with up with an A point. I'm going to start uh, driving the tractor forwards. Press A. It's, again, you have to be moving to do it. So press A. You have you see here it starts counting. You have to drive a minimum of five, uh, ten meters before your point B will come up. So you'll see that point B's come up now. Again, just for this exercise, I'm going to press it sooner. But normally. I'd recommend driving to nearly the other end of the field before you press your point B, it just makes it more accurate. Anyway, press point B, engage my GPS, that'll beep. When I put the linkage down, it'll start painting. Look, how about that? Nice and easy. The tractor's driving itself down now, down this, this um, farm track, um, just to simulate it for you. Get, we're going to imagine we're at the end of the field linkage up it stops painting you press you, you turn your steering wheel and that disengages the um, the GPS and then you turn around go to your next line on the screen which is to the left or the right of that thick line I've just done and you, you, you turn around get somewhere near it and engage your steering and Happy days, that is the nuts and bolts of Massey Ferguson's go mode. Anyone, anyone honestly can, can use that and they get on absolutely fine with it. So I hope you all get something out of that perhaps. It'll be a video that's on YouTube forever so I, su I suspect that someone somewhere will tell me I've done something wrong or I don't know. Anyway, I um, hope you find that useful or interesting perhaps. Um, it does show really how simple these uh, GPS systems can be um, if you want to if you want them to be obviously as I said at the start of the video you know there's lots and lots of other things that this GPS system will do on this tractor but I just wanted to point out the absolute basics for you so you can just see how easy it is anyway thank you for watching I hope you've enjoyed this little um, section on GPS and I'll um, see you again soon bye